Hey up guys here from Nano Tizer chapter 174 Malleolus was 10 commandments. I love this chapter, even though it felt really short for me, because I, I love it that much. I just love it more. Really, really good chapter. So it pretty much leaves off exactly where the last chapter ended. And then we get to see like everyone's reactions to the Ten Commandments. And we get to see Father and Son. Like, is that, is that my father? And everyone's like, Henderson, is, isn't that one of my doofers? Are, like, are you still working with them? And then we kind of like get away from that and no one goes back to Henderson, which sounds pretty weird. I guess that was like the one bad thing about the chapter. They didn't they don't address the Hanks Henderson even more. It's like if I were them, I don't think I'd really trust Henderson that easily. He did like cause the whole mess to begin with. But whatever. And then we get to see they're like, oh, Gollin is is not there. I believe there's one named Gollin and, and he's gone. And Jericho's like, yeah, and Eskinar killed him. And then Hothra looks at Eskinar and is like, and Eskinar's like what can I say? And I was dying that part. You see, like, Eskin all, like, weak over, like, go through his back, like, meh, what can I say? But then we get to see Bond's reaction. He's like, oh, that's, that's, that's um, Mescalena, I can't remember her name. Dad, Descalena? No. Escal Escalena, something like that, is still alive. And Lane says, Bad, that is why I'm still alive. And that pretty much confirms what I've, I've been saying the last couple, last couple weeks that. Elaine and Meltron are pretty much, like, they're not resurrected, they're not brought back to stay. They have a reason for being here, and then they're gonna leave once more. They're pretty much, like, they're confirmed to stay dead. So, that's very, like, I was very interested in that to see, because not, like, interested in what role Meltron and Elaine are both gonna play for, I guess, for Diane King, I guess, King is also, oh, well, I guess, yeah, Diane King of Ban. What role is Motrona and Lena gonna play for like them? That was pretty interesting. So pretty much we get the battle set up. We can see Meliodas and Zelja like square off. And that was ghost this week. And then when I turn that page, you see Zelja just holding, like just holding Meliodas' cut off arm of the sword. I'm like, okay, we, we are not screwing around. We are going serious here. And the middle is trying to get his arm back. He is flung. Zelda just steps on his arm. And then you can see Grillard use a spell, Chain of the Occur's Resentment. So we see that thing. And then everyone's like, what kind of spell is that? And then no one's really sure. Like, I guess it's some sort of like ancient spell. And we can see more like explosion. And we can see Mills try to escape. And it's like, yes, we're like, like, even Elizabeth's like, gotta get him out. Gotta get him out of there. So he finally escapes. And then I was like, I was like wait. I was like, I was like what happened to the, the chain the spell thing? I just did nothing. And then we find out the chain is basically, it's kind of like a loop that like wherever you go, it brings you back to the original position, like the original battlefield. So Mel's trying to escape and now he's pretty, he's pretty much locked in there. There's no way for him to escape. I guess the only way for him to escape is either defeat all the commandments or try to like knock out Grey Lord and then escape, hoping that like you defeat Grey Lord, his spell, like his, it just it disappears. But we never really confirmed how that works. So pretty much what this spell does, I'm what I'm guessing is because at the end we get more stuff with like Desiree using her star combo and just getting like not like, tw like power increasing and we get Simone's arms broken off because of that. And then we see Mon spit like Hell's Blades. And then even we get Mon was like almost killed. Not really killed, but like decapitated Mon Spiet. But then so going back to the chain thing, well, I was thinking that this pretty much confirms that Melios doesn't have an escape. And I think the Ten Commandments are going to capture Meliodas and bring him back to like their king, like his Camelot, where the Exelgis is, is uh, camping, something like that. And that'd be interesting to see how, what, what would happen there. And anyways, like I said, we get to see the stuff from Desiree, Monspiet, and basically the chapter ends off, we get to see Meliodas. Two broken arms, his demon power is like completely off, and he's just he's but he's and he, his eyes are like no 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 I'm not gone yet. Again, really short chapter. Why don't you like sum it up? Like not like it's really simple. But I like Mel's determination in this chapter. Like even though he knows like, there is like a, a small percent chance that he is gonna win, 
He knows that if he doesn't try to defeat them, that his friends are next. And they, at this point in time, they pretty much don't stand a chance. Because we've got Eskinor knocked out already. So there's no way Eskinor can do anything at this point. If the only one, I don't even know who would, who would even stand a chance at them. Maybe if Bond got like a stick of treasure, but at this point, I don't know. I really don't know who sent chance because of the Ten Commandments. So anyways, next chapter, I definitely think this fight between Mel's and the Ten Commandments is going to end. And I really do think that Mel is going to get captured by the Ten Commandments. I think they're going to probably say, but enough, enough Mel yours. He's got like, too much troubles. We either got to convert him back to Ten Commandments or seal him up like they sealed us. And then I think that the group waiting for like trying to hope we ML can escape they're gonna try it. and at this point rest we have like a rescue arc now be really really interesting to see between like the Ten Commandments versus everyone else like Arthur Man the Seven Deadly Sins Gil Frost Gil Thunder the Holy Knights so yeah some really interesting stuff kind of a quick review today not really much to talk about between the Pep Sante and Lane stuff and then what I think is gonna happen afterwards but anyways Really hope you enjoyed. This is Epi, guys. Bye.